everyone this is going to be a quick uh, video about um, trunk between uh, two Cisco switches and I'll just I thought I'll make a quick video to be educational for everyone who want to learn uh, about trunking on Cisco devices we have uh, two core switches and we're going to configure it on those two and let's get started here we go, we have core 1 and core 2 and we're gonna go on and uh, do a trunk uh, between them if you already know about trunking that's fantastic if not then trunking is basically uh, allows you to carry the VLAN on the interfaces and uh, I'm just gonna go on and take a look at uh, at the trunk uh, status and see where we are Okay, I'm going to tap in the show interface trunk and we see we only have trunk between uh, we are sitting right now on core 2 we only have uh, trunk to if uh, to switch 1 I believe uh, actually to switch 2 from core 2 so we don't have any trunk on these uh, gig, uh, gig ports at all to core 1 so let's go and take a look at uh, core one for trunking as well and uh, let's see if the, uh, it's configured there so show enable show interface trunk and we're going to see it again on this end as well we only have trunking enable on f1 to switch one so the goal, the ultimate goal in this uh, scenario will be to go on and uh, create a trunk port between these two so that way the VLAN will uh, transfer the traffic and uh, the VLANs will be replicated etc. So let's go to core 2 and go to config T and let's go on and gig, uh, get the gig 1 and gig 2 and get it uh, ready for trunking so we're going to go interface we're going to use the range so that way we get both both of the the ports in one shot we're going to go on gig uh, 0 1 2 2 we're going to say switch port trunk I usually use this question mark so that way I'll see what is coming up next. So we're going to say switch port trunk. We are right now sitting on code 2. Switch port trunk. And we went to the interface uh, gig 2 and gig 2. Gig, gig 1 and gig 2. We're going to say switch port trunk and we're going to encapsulate it first. first. First thing we have to do is encapsulate it. So encapsulation dot 1q and then we're going to say switch port mode trunk. Let's go enter. There we go. You're almost there. Let's go to it and say switch port trunk. What do we want a trunk? So we're going to say, um, let's minimize this so we can get a little bit of view. So it says uh, switch port trunk. What do you want a trunk? Uh, let's go and say allowed. We want to trunk all the VLANs. We're going to say all. I could get a pick, uh, but in this case, I'm just going to say trunk everything. I'm going to go on and uh, say switch port trunk. Let's go and uh, adjust the native VLAN as well. Native VLAN in this scenario is VLAN 99. Let's see what did I tap in. Native VLAN. Okay, we're also going to set up the native VLAN. Native VLAN, if you don't know about it, native VLAN will carry any traffic which is not related to any other VLAN. So in this case, we're going to say our native VLAN is set to be 999. So we're going to do that as well. Looks like our trunk is set up on this side. So let's go first thing first. Take a look at our VLAN. How many VLANs we have right here? Okay, we have a couple of them right there and uh, later we will see, Let's take a look at show VTP status. Okay, config T. 
city city domain Okay, I'm just going to write it. I change the V2P domain name to something more easy to remember. Okay, let's go on and uh, take a look at. Uh, we are pretty much done with uh, with uh, core uh, core two. Actually, there is there's an error. This is very typical when you have uh, some kind of mismatch on the on the. VTP. So as we see it, the VTP was previously set up to a different domain on uh, switch one, and now it's different uh, on the other end to core two. So I'm gonna go to switch one and just change the VTP domain. We can get rid of that error config. Okay, and the VTP domain. Exit, right, that message should be gone. We shouldn't be getting that error anymore. Okay, that message is gone. We are not going to get a VTP domain mismatch. So I can uh, create another video and uh, explain VTP domain, but pretty much we should be done. Okay, VTP gig 2. Okay, this is now talking about the other end, so we're just going to go on and take a look on the gig 2, which is core 2. So let's go to core 2 and fix the VTP as well. Config T, VTP domain. There we go. That is fixed. So we're not going to get that trouble at all now. So we set up both sides. What we did was we changed the VTP domain on this guy and then uh, this uh, error on this end and this end came up. So I went to each end. I went to switch 2 in core 1 and change the VTP domain to match this domain. What I will do also on this uh, core 2 is I'm going to change the VTP mode to client okay we should go on uh, usually we should shut down these ports before we configure them but that's okay gonna go on and now do the rest of configuration and these errors should all disappear so, Let's go on and uh, go to interface range. We are sitting on core one. Interface range gig zero one through two. We'll say switch port prong encapsulation dot one q switch. Let me get rid of that uh, native VLAN mismatch uh, and other errors which are coming. Okay. It's all switch port, trunk, native VLAN. Nine, nine. We done with this guy, so no more trouble about native VLAN. Okay, switch port, trunk, allowed VLAN, all switch port, trunk, switch port mode. Trunk. Actually, this is good practice. Take a look at and see uh, why are we having VTP domain mismatch now. And show VTP status. Okay. Actually, that is uh, on this end, uh, my mistake. As you see, it is we are sitting on core one. 
and now this F1 which is coming to switch 2 switch 1 is also giving us error so I'm gonna to go to switch 1 and change the, the VTP domain config T let's go to say VTP domain give it a new name exit that's it end of errors and end of story you should have this should fix everything anyways show VTP status okay this is a server and that is our domain and we have 12 VLANs and say show VLAN okay so let's go on this 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 okay we're gonna create a new VLAN here shortly but to see if the trunking is working or not exit show VTP status okay we are now on the same domain and it is in client mode core 2 is in client mode so we're gonna go to core 1 show VTP status and this is server okay let's go on and create a new config T let's go and create a new VLAN let's go and create a VLAN 6909 uh, and call it Friday Oops. name Friday exit exit right and go back to core uh, 2 and make sure we could uh, we could make sure it replicated or copy trunked over etc okay show show um, show vlan okay so, oh there we go friday is right there it has been replicated okay i want to make sure that uh, there's no trouble at all anymore Unable to perform trunk negotiation if one on VTP domain mismatch. Why is there still if one? You're sitting on code two and still we get mismatch. Show VTP status. We done and uh, everything. Okay, there's a typo on the domain name on the domain name for VTP. So we're gonna say VTP. VTP domain. I forgot to add one uh, A right there. So, anyways, good to go. No more trouble. As I mentioned previously as well, that is too bad. Trouble keep on coming up. Okay, there we go. Everything should be smooth. Everything is looking good. No more trouble. All looking good. Yep. There we go. We now we have um, a trunking configure between these uh, these two core switches. So whenever I I created this core one as the server for uh, trunking. So whenever I want to create a VLAN, I'm going to go to core one and create, and it's going to replicate to all of these. I don't have to go on and say, you know what, let's go and create a VLAN on each one of them. Depends on your needs. I mean, different organization will require you to create a separate VLAN and isolate them totally. And we could talk about that. Thank you so much for watching. Okay? This is, uh, this is it for today. Have a wonderful day. And please subscribe and remember to perform this on only on lab environment. Thanks, have a good day.